The ozone layer in the upper atmosphere protects life on Earth from strong ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The strong depletion of the ozone layer that was detected in 1985 was the first significant global environmental concern. The Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer, which was ratified in every country of the world in 1987, has decreased the atmospheric concentration of substances that deplete the ozone layer. The Montreal Protocol is an example of successful global cooperation. After it was signed, emissions of ozone-depleting substances have been cut by 98%. According to studies, ozone depletion has stopped and the ozone layer is recovering. It is estimated that the ozone layer will recover completely in 50 to 70 years. Today, satellites have an important role in ozone research. The measuring instruments of satellites monitor the global ozone situation in the middle and upper atmosphere daily. The Finnish Meteorological Institute has contributed strongly in satellite projects. NASA's Aura satellite has a Finnish-Dutch OMI measuring instrument, which measures the amount of ozone. The Arctic Space Center in Sudankula receives measurements from the OMI instrument in real time. The Finnish Meteorological Institute also provides forecasts of ozone behavior over Finland. The Finnish Meteorological Institute has developed the FinRose model in international cooperation. The Finnish Meteorological Institute measures the atmospheric ozone concentrations with balloon sounding in Sudankula. The UV index represents the amount of solar UV radiation. Even though human beings need a small amount of UV radiation, Protection is recommended when the UV index is 3 or higher. You can follow the situation on the website of the Finnish Meteorological Institute. The protocol is regarded to be one of the best examples of successful international cooperation to protect our common environment. The experience gained from the Montreal Protocol gives hope also for solving climate change.